All right, today we are on my second episode of impaling my leg with testosterone replacement therapy. As I mentioned in the first video, that uh, you, don't, you may not have to pay $100 a month to go somewhere and have some facility treat you for low, low T. I just went to my primary care physician and he tested me and sure enough, I am low. Right now I'm pushing the air out of the second needle. And there it is. So the first time it took me, I don't know. Ah, oh, that doesn't feel as good as I had hoped. The first time it took me a couple of, it took me an hour. Now I have to try to stabilize this and pull the plunger to see. Okay, there's no, there's no blood. Now I'm trying to push it in. And it's a little unsettling pushing it in. It's difficult to push in. It's a thick serum. And it's done. I'm sure that I made this look a lot worse than it really is. But it's done. It was virtually pain-free. The first two times, it was pain-free. This time, <laughs> not quite pain-free. Another thing that's a dis that was a disappointment, last week when I did this, or two weeks ago, I'm sorry, I do this every other week. Last week when I did this, last week was my second time. The first time was in this leg a month ago. There were no repercussions. It didn't hurt, it didn't bleed you wouldn't even have known that I impaled my leg with that needle. Two weeks ago, it was the same thing. After I finished, I felt nothing. However, the next day, at the injection site, I could see nothing. <laughs> I know that you were expecting something different. So, Two weeks ago, it seemed like everything was fine. You can see a little bit of blood coming through here. So while I believed that everything was fine on my right leg because there was no pain when I inserted it, I drew no blood, I pressed it in, everything was fine. I extracted the stainless steel inch and a half of metal in my leg and the next day I started to feel something in my leg. So that something was right around here and it started out the size of a nickel the next morning. It grew to the size of a dollar by the afternoon. The following day it had spread, the pain had spread for about a foot here. And, and it was coming down my leg. I was limping and on the third day the pain was so bad, I called my doctor. They were only open till noon. So I had to go to a different place, but they were closed too from his affiliations. So I had to go to a different urgent care place. I did, and the uh, physician's assistant is looking at what I did. I showed her where the injection site is. She said, you're right, I see no signs of infection. She looked at my leg, she saw no sign of swelling. So her theory and my doctor's theory is that I must have nicked a vein on the way in. I didn't draw any blood out, but I must have nicked a vein and by the time it was, I was ready to leave 
the urgent care facility, I could barely walk. They grabbed a wheelchair, wheeled me out to my car, and I had to get into my car in a very awkward way. And the physician's assistant asked me, are you sure you don't want to go to emergency care, the emergency room? I said, if this is just pain and I can deal with it and there's no sign of anything else happening, then I should be fine. Today is Saturday. I just have to make it through Sunday and then Monday I'll go. So as it turns out, I took ibuprofen when I got home. I took pain relievers and Sunday, oh, and I soaked in the hot tub multiple times. They say that after 48 hours, it's good to put heat on inflammation. And she and my doctor were calling this inflammation. So I just sat in the hot tub, geez, a couple of hours or a few hours, Saturday, Sunday, and I started out Monday morning in the hot tub. Not, not a hot tub, a tub of hot water. So here we have it. This is my second self-injection well, you, you might be able to see that there's a drop of blood right there. Uh, I'll put a piece of toilet paper or something on it to soak up that blood and apply pressure, see if that gets rid of it. The pain is minimal. Again, I did all the precaution. I've got the uh, alcohol wipe. First, I wiped off the bottle thoroughly twice. I used the two syringes, the larger syringe, to the larger syringe needle to draw the therapy from the vial. Then I pushed air through the larger needle well first I drew air in to make sure I got all the testosterone out of the large extraction needle to extract it from the vial. Then I removed, I changed the needles to the smaller injection needle. I, I tapped out the air bubble. I pushed out the air until I had a small droplet of testosterone dripping down the small injection needle. I came over here and within a minute, I'd say, I had myself injected. So. It is getting easier. This is my second, this is my third time. It's easier, much easier on the third time than it was the first time. Now, hopefully this time I won't have any consequences. I hope I didn't nick a vein. Again, there was no blood when I drew back on the needle before injecting the testosterone. So, there you have it. I'm going to try it again in two weeks and let you know how that goes. And that'll probably be the end of these. I hope you find it helpful. I find it therapeutic. <laughs> Take care.